welcome back to some more FTB Infinity. FTB Infinity. I don't know why I'm sounding like a hillbilly, but I am. Okay. Um, look, we're getting ready to do the wither, uh, not the wither, but the end dragon fight. And I've been looking at stuff, and I'm going, okay, my armor needs to take a needs to take a break. It, it's done. It's over. It, 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 I got no more armor here. In addition, I've got this reinforced jetpack thing, you know, where I can I can drop I can drop my my jetpack into the uh, um, my Ender bag, and because it's powered, and I have this little I have a little filter sitting on my uh, 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 Ender chest, it will actually take my. Let me see if I can show you in like not in like two seconds. Um, it will take the the item because it's powered and it will you know I can swap out uh, and then that will go away and then um, get get repowered you know and here it is getting repowered right now and then put back into my ender bag for the next next time that I'm ready and that's all very cool and everything. Hopefully it'll hopefully it'll pop in there. Huh. Nah, too long, <laughs> too too long for you. Um, but this doesn't last very long. It's only got two million RF, and it just doesn't last very long. So I think it's time to do something different. Now I followed the. Um, let me see here. Jet. I follow. There's a couple different paths you can follow for jetpacks here. Um, there is the IC2 stuff that you can do, the gravitation sweet jetpack stuff. Um, oh, I don't see the regular. Oh, yeah, here's the regular jetpacks. So I've done this one before. Um, there's also a Project Red expansion one. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know what that is. Let's check that out. Oh. Oh, just some batteries and some bat box and some... Oh, that's pretty simple. Um, I've done this one before. I currently have... What is it? I have this one right now. This is the one I have right now. The reinforced jetpack. Armored is the one I have now. And, of course, you have to follow up through the lead jetpack, through the lead stone, stuff like that. I have not done the resonant, which is the biggest one. But that's, the, that's 10 million RF because... Um, it's, it, I don't have enough um, endurium because you need a lot of endurium. Um, yeah, is it endurium? Yeah, endurium. And I just don't have that much shiny metal. And look at that. You need four just for this one. And then you need some more here. And then you need to, I, it's just not worth it. So um, I could, if I ever got enough endurium, I could make this, but I just don't have enough. So, um, and then you can even do this flux infused, flux infused jet plate which is 50 million RF, but again, you need a resonant jetpack, you need more endurium that I don't have. So there is another way to get to a really good jet plate, which is the Ender IO version, which starts off with the conductive iron, which this stuff is from Ender IO here. So it goes conductive, conductive to electrical, to energetic, to vibrant, to the dark solarium jetpack and that's what we're going to do today and this is it over here so <laughs> this is i wanted to do this mostly on camera and i said okay i'll just set everything up and oh my gosh did i set things up and let me tell you something this was a labor of love it took forever to get all of this stuff and i have depleted stuff I have really depleted my stores. Um, I had to... Look at this. I'm down to this little bit of gold here. Um, I'm I'm not hurting too bad on iron, although I used quite a bit of it. Copper I'm down on. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty far down on copper. Redstone. I had to go steal... I had to go steal redstone. I hate to say it from from the spawner over there just to get this finished. So much redstone. Um, and then, now you see 27 diamonds here. 
I ended up making making 40 diamonds with uh, with everything. Um, I ended up depleting my supply. I had like 30 some odd diamonds, and I ended up depleting that. And then I ended up uh, needing more, even more diamonds and stuff like that. So here's my goal. I've got two, two. I've got one hard thing, and then one, one really, or a couple really easy things. My goal is to get to the dark solarium jet plate. Okay. So I need the vibrant jet plate. Um, I need the energetic. I need the electrical steel, and I need the conductive. Okay. So I've set everything up, but it's not just that. Um, you know, to get to this, you know, yes, I. That's the basis. But look at all of this stuff. And look at all these octactic, uh, octactic uh, capacitors and the vibrant crystals and everything else. I mean, it's just insane. I'm hoping that I've got this all set up right. I'm hoping this all works correctly. And I'm hoping <laughs> that I can make two of these. Yes, not just one, but two of them. 50 million RF. And I'm going to make two of them. Yay for me. Uh, so, now that doesn't answer my other problem over here, which is my the rest of my uh, the rest of my uh, armor here. Uh, but that we're going to deal with that in a second. So I'm going to start working on this. I'm just going to record. I'm not going to say much. You'll just have to. I'll do the kind of cut thing to the different things and stuff like that. And I've really set everything up. Oh my gosh. I mean. Well, you'll see. Um, also, something else that I wanted to talk about. And what did I do with it? Ah, here we go. So I ended up running out of gold. Gold seems to be the thing that you need the most of in this, in Ender IO, more than almost anything else. So I ended up running out of gold. And I ended up getting to a point, because you can't just get gold any... Get out of here, you... You can't get gold any other way, so I ended up taking my spawner, getting a, a zombie pig man, and just doing that for, oh, thank you, uh, doing that for a while, and you get a ton of these loot bags. Um, I think they used to be loot bags back then, and look at all the zombie heads that I've got from this. Whew. And then you smelt, you combine and smelt down these swords. You've got the gold nuggets. But check this out. So I'm going to do a common treasure bag. This is a common one. Nope. I don't want to trade with you. Thank you very much. Okay. Eight gold coin. And I thought, you know, I can do without this stuff. I don't need a bottle of night vision. I don't need a bottle of enchanting. Um, until I realized, or until I read that you can smelt these gold coins into gold nuggets. So guess what? I went and looted all of these, and I have been smelting. I probably got three stacks of gold coin, or go, of gold bars, just from these, uh, oh, just from all of these things. So there's already a stack, just from the, just this is the common ones that I just did. A stack and some change and a little gold nugget there and power one book and a bunch of uh, potions and stuff. Check out the, the rare one. Okay, so I can combine these to make more gold. There's another power. Yep, that's another power one. There's some more gold coins. Three more. You saw them pop in. Three more emeralds, some more gold. Well, who cares about the boots? Nobody likes the boots. But I don't know what that's a boot. But anyway, um, what you do is you just drop these in. So there's there's almost three stacks of gold coins, which you turn into nuggets. And Bob's your uncle. I've actually been throwing away these. I don't know what these. I probably regret this later on, but I've been throwing these things away because I'm out of room. And then I had to move my, I had to move my, um, I had to put a crystal chest up here for all the potions that I'm getting. Because you'll get like a million potions. So, you know, these are, I don't know why I'd ever want these splash potions. Although maybe I'll put them in a, maybe I'll make a potion generator because I heard that that's a thing. 
But anyway, I'm going to put these up, and this is how I reclaimed emeralds and quite a few diamonds this way, too. Um, because I just I was just opening up these bags and smelting. I was doing the, the smelty thingy for the, for the gold. I was smelting up the iron swords and other iron gear that I was getting through the, through the spawner. And I think I've even got some gold in here right now. Yeah, I've got a couple of ingots of gold. So I can, I can, you know, I can take all those, all this gold stuff and smelt it into gold. So that was cool. All right, I'm going to finish taking care of this and we're going to get to work making a uh, gigantic, uh, hopefully really good uh, jetpack and armor system. Okay, so one note is how this is all set up. This looks weird, but it actually makes sense. So this is going to be my, my starting point, and I'm just going to work my way down. And each thing is a new tier of jetpack. And then I come over here, and this this is all... Let's see, I think this is all for the... Um, this thing here. And then this is for the... Um, uh, little jet packies things here so hopefully this will make sense as I do okay so I've set a lot of this stuff up already and there we go and then the next thing too is I need to create the armor plates so I'm gonna make two of those but I'm not gonna worry about that right now I'm gonna get up through the dark steel but I'm not gonna worry about that just yet And then I need four of these. Okay. These two. Nice. So we're already up to our energetic. What do you want? I the the bars over that away, please. Yes, over that away. Move along. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. How can I help you? This these. What? I'm working here. Seriously, I need space. I need. Come on. I need space. I need space. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go on. Go on. Shoo. I need 16 of these. And I'm making eight of these, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so we are up to our vibrant jetpack. Um, which is the equivalent of what we have now. Um, I think. No, actually, we are up to the vibrant, which is the equivalent of the resonant jetpack. So, yeah. So we could stop here and we'd have a better jetpack than we've got here. But we're not going to stop there. We're moving on. There's one and two. Okay, I took all this stuff down and we're on to the next thing. So I've made the two vibrant jetpacks, which is the heart of all of this. But now we need to do a couple other things. So let's let's work on this enriched solarium. So for the rich solarium al alloy, I need dark steel, I need solarium, and I need the pulsating crystal. And I'm gonna make this bit by bit. That and that. 
There we go. Cook away. Oh, it's going to take forever to do, isn't it? Yay. Okay, that's the flight control unit. Now, here comes the weird part. In order to get this going correctly, we have to do something that we've not had to do before. And that is... See how this has the two little red red dots there and ours does not? In order to get that, we have to put this into a soul binder with a soul file full of bats. Okay? So the soul vial, you make the soul vial with uh, like that. You get the soul vial. And it's basically almost just like the Safari net. You click on them. And it, as a matter of fact, if you right, if you unclick with them, they'll they'll pop out. So you'll get your you'll get your thing back. Um, then you have to use a soul binder. The soul binder is pretty easy to make, so I'm not going to go into that very much. But oh yay, we can only do one at a time. Okay, so bat, 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 bat. I made some, and I went and grabbed everything that I needed. Um, so let's go ahead and hopefully this just works. And let's see here. Oh, I need experience. Use player XP. Okay, ba bam and ba bam, we have four dark solarium thrusters. Boom! We'll just put you down here for now, guys. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your stay down there. Okay, the next bit with all of this is going to be con to construct. Um, we could go in and get the gliders, but I think I'd rather go ahead and. Let's go do these next. So this is another long drawn out. This capacitor bank is another long drawn out thing, which I have started right here. So let's go ahead. I think I start here. Yes. I start here with these two and then I put them into here and I get this one, right? And then I take them over to here. No, then I do. Um, oh, great. So I'm going to get this this whole thing in here. So I get two of these. Right? And then I'm going to do two there. And that goes there. Aha. And aha. Good. Making progress here. And then I have these four here. And like I said, I've constructed all the minor things. So really, all you see me doing is going, Kablow! But now, we're going to go to boop and to boop and you go there. Capacitor bank and octactic capacitor bank. Okay? And then for the final piece, we're going to... We have to armor this. So we're going to go kabloom and then we'll just go... It's a bloop and does it go down there? Up there? Over here? Where does it go? Am I not right here? I feel like I'm not doing something right here. So let's just check this out. Electrical steel. Ah, yes. So I take my conductive iron. Okay. Yes, because I have. That's, that's what I prepared these for. So let's go take care of them. I think I have too many villagers over here. I'm glad I didn't put any more doors over here. So let's just take this and this, and we'll go boop, boop, boop. Right? And then we'll go boop, boop, boop. Oh, right. I can't do it that way. And then we'll go boop and de boop and boop and de boop. Now I have my electrical steel. 
which I could have just combined there, but we're coming back over here to do. And this is really about, almost about it. So let's see here. Yep, there's that, and there's that. Nope, there's that. Okay, and then you go there, and then you can go there and sit. Okay. So now we're going to do the glider wings, and I believe I've got the glider wings set up here. And I just need... Um, so the glider wings are... How oh, I wish you guys would shut up! <laughs> um, <laughs> so the glider wings are here, so I need 12 of them because each one... So I'm making four, so I need two... One, two, three, so, yep, I need 12, and which means I need 120 conductive irons. Blah. Okay, while we're waiting for the rest of our, your, our enriched solarium to get done, let's take a look at the final kind of piece that we need, which is this ender crystal. So for the ender crystal, we need two vi a vibrant crystal and a soul vial full of an enderman. And, oh, look here. I just happen to have that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make that in our soul binder. Um, we'll go ahead and put you in there and put you in there. And we need zero of ten. So there we go. Or we had zero of ten. Now we have ten of ten. And Kablawi. Nice. Ender crystal. And Okay, we are at nearly at the end of our journey here. So the last big step that we need to make is to make these two wings. And I'm going to do this just to get them out of the way. So we just have to get our two glider wings. So... Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and boom, and da boom, and da boom, and da boom. We have a dark solarium jet plate. Boom. And now we have a double. Yay! Oh, I can't jump in. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so let's start loading up 50, 50 million RF into these things. I don't know that, that... I'm hoping that all this can keep up. So, uh, let's see here. Do I have... Okay, you're, you're... You're making buffer now. You're pretty good. You're magmatic dynamo. You're rolling along. I'm hoping that, that this doesn't just drain everything completely because I don't have good storage right now. But let's just test this and make sure that it ends up working in our um, in our thing. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so like I said, my armor is about to break. Um, in fact, we can just go ahead and retire it now. I made this dark, dark steel stuff because this is um, a little bit better than diamond armor. Um... When you add stuff to it, it gets even better. So let's just take a look here. So this, this, it's empowered. I already added this, this vibrant crystal to this one. Um, so it's diamond level protection when powered, fall damage when negated when powered. Um, yeah. So now we're going to, um, we're going to do, you can also do upgrades to this. So I think I can do this and this and this. And this, and this. I think that's all I can do there. Yes, jump, flippers, and empower two. So let's go ahead and add this in here. Dark boots. End of that. Okay. So I'm going to need levels. And I might just go get some more levels down. 
from my, uh... Okay, so this gives me Empowered 2. This gives me Empowered 3. And this will give me Empowered 4, which I don't have enough levels for. You know what? Hold on for a second. I'm going to go get some levels. Okay, that is the final. Let me put my stuff away here. The final thing of enchant. So I've got fuel efficiency for soul bound and protection on these two items because they don't seem to break. So I don't have to worry about that. On all of this, I have gosh, um, pro four soul bound unbreaking. This one's got octo affinity. This oh, the other one does not, but I can get that on there easily. So let's go down and charge these up. So how did I get Pro 4 on all these so easily? Well, right over here. I have a printing press now. I have a typesetting table and a printing press. And it really couldn't be simpler. Oh, that's not what I want. It really couldn't be simpler. Oh, I've got reading glasses on because when you put reading glasses on, you can see what's in your books. Pretty cool. Uh, but we'll put you up for now. What do I do with them? Let's put you guys up for now. Uh, so what you do is you take your enchanted book. I don't have one. And you put it over here and you've got these these plates. And um, you shift right click on the book and it turns it into a plate. You bring it over here to the printing press. You, printing press, you put the plate in the slot here. You've got ink up here and books, blank books over here. And then it just makes books. So ha ha ha. We are done. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of these levels. And let's get down and charge these up. And we are ready to don some armor and check in and see how this works. So let's go over here. Let me put some stuff away and I'll be right back. 